Hey guys, so what you see in front of you is my Ampero Mini. This is a guitar multi-effects processor made by a company called Hot Tone. And it's a Chinese company. Um, I've been using the Ampero Mini for a few weeks now. And uh, um, I quite like this multi-effects processor. It's very small, it's very responsive. And uh, I mainly just use the P02-3, the pure clean tone when I learn and practice guitar as a beginner electric guitar player. And recently, um, I found out that they had a firmware update that came out for the Ampero Mini, uh, which added a few extra, I believe, uh, the effects or a few extra cabinets, speakers um, into the, the existing lineup. So it's got a few more effects and I want to go ahead and update. And uh, I thought um, it would be best for me to actually share with you guys the updated process because it does seem fairly complicated and confusing if you have not updated uh, the firmware on the Ampero Mini before, okay? So first thing first, you need to confirm the firmware version on your Ampero Mini. So with the power on, you're going to go to global and you're just going to hit about. Uh, once you're here, you can see that the firmware version for this is v1.0b now the newest firmware is v1.1 okay so i'm going to show you guys on the screen this is ampero website if uh, you go to their website and you go to the english version of course um, you can see that the newest firmware for ampero mini by going over here is firmware version 1.1 and also you notice in the princess, it says compatible with Ampero editor version 1.4.1. Now, if you've had the Ampero and you installed the Ampero editor for the old firmware, that firmware only works with that editor. So what are you gonna do now with the new firmware is you're gonna update the software first. You're gonna update the software to the Ampero editor software, either on Windows or Mac to version 1.4.1. What you're going to do is you're going to go to their support page. You're going to go to the software, find your Ampero, which is under multi-effects processor, and you're going to click Ampero Mini. Uh, over here, you can see there are a few essential things you need to download. First thing first uh, is the Hot Tone Generic USB ASIO audio software interface, whatever driver. Uh, the newest version is 5.57.1. You're going to download this. You just can click click that and it's going to open up a download manual for you to download it. I already downloaded the software. As you can see, there are three softwares you need to download. So first, AISO driver. Second, you're going to go to either Windows or Mac. You're going to download the newest editor, which is version 1.4.1, as mentioned earlier. You're going to hit that and it's going to open a download window again. You're going to download it. Now you're going to go to the firmware by switching the tab, go to the multi-effects, find a mini again, and download this version 1.1 firmware, okay? You hit that, another download window pops up, you're going to download that. And once you finish those, we don't need the web page anymore, we can just close that. You're going to go to the manual that you download the firmware, which is right here. You can see there are three files. I'm going to just extract all three files. Um, let's see, extract all. And I'm just gonna go ahead and extract. So we're gonna have three folders of from the zip file that we extract, extracted, okay? All right, and uh, this is the driver, let's see. Oops, my cat just closed the window for me, so I gotta, I gotta reopen the window, give me one second. All right, let's see, apparel. Okay. So one last one that we need to extract, which is the AISO driver. All right, so now we can download the zip file. And uh, the first thing first we're gonna install is the AISO driver, which is the USB driver that you need for uh, the, when you plug the USB cable from the Ampero Mini to your PC, you're gonna need this driver for it to function properly and detect the multi-effects processor. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install. Now, if you have the old software, the ISO installed, I'll install the old one first before you install the new one. So the, the driver install is complete and we're gonna go back and we're gonna find the software. This is what you're gonna install next. The, the firmware you're gonna install very last because 
we need to install the software in order to install the firmware, okay? So you're just gonna go ahead and install the Ampero Editor, the newest version. And once it finishes, um, we're gonna go back, take a look at the firmware folder. In the firmware folder, you can see there is a BIN, a binary file. This is a firmware. Usually, all the multi-fx processes are going to be using a binary file, but you don't see any executable files here. That's because um, we have to open the software next. Okay, so we're going to find Ampero software on your PC that you just installed. I just typed Ampero, so it installs this uh, Ampero editor. And you confirm the version is the newest. It says no device connected. Uh, yes, obviously there's no device connected. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna next have the USB driver already installed. We're gonna just plug the USB cable on here and connect it to the PC. The moment you plug the driver in here, you can see it starts to load. And that's weird. It says this software is not compatible. Um, wow. So maybe I installed the wrong driver. I need to go back and make sure I'm installing the correct Ampero editor because that's what you need to update the firmware. All right, guys. So the reason I encountered that problem that says my Ampero Mini was not supported is because in order to update the firmware from 1.0b to 1.1, we have to have the old Ampero editor installed because only the 1.3.3 is compatible uh, with the current firmware that's being installed. So interestingly, I have to uninstall the newest one, the newest editor, install the old one, and then I'm able to go to the settings tab over here. And uh, over here, there's a firmware update option. If I click this, it actually tells me that I need to do a certain action for the Ampero Mini in order to go into firmware update mode, which is uh, pressing the left button while connecting the USB drive with the power turn on. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and try to see what happens. So let me see if it allows me to update the firmware to the newest 1.1. Okay, so I'm gonna disconnect. The moment I disconnect, it disappears. So and I'm gonna hold the button and do it. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand, see if it's possible. Okay, connect. Still pressing the button. All right, so now it looks like it's in the firmware update mode. Um, and this 1.3.3 also says update. Uh, it says settings will be erased. Make sure your presets are backed up. I don't have any presets. So now we can go back to um, this firmware that I just downloaded, which is the 1.1 firmware right here. So version 1.1 and make sure it's the right firmware. And uh, I believe once I finish updating through Ampero Editor 1.3.3, it's going to tell me that the Mini is no longer working with this editor and ask me to update the editor automatically to 1.4.1. Let's see if that's the case. Uh, it's about 80 uh, megabytes, so it's going to take a little while. Uh, I would say probably I'll come back in about three, four minutes to check on the update, and then we'll continue with the update process. All right, so the update finished, and uh, um, let's see what the program says. I need to restart. It just went blank, so I'm just going to go ahead and restart and see what happens. My guess is the new firmware is no longer going to be working with the 1.3.3. Okay, so let me plug it in. And now I'm not in firmware installation mode, it's just regular AISO connection. All right, it's connecting, let's see what it says. Okay, so as expected, this software now it's out of date. So we can exit the software, okay? we need to install the newest 1.4.1 after our firmware has been updated to 1.1, which is like a kind of cumbersome step. But if you know the steps, then you know how to operate and how to reconnect really quick. Let me exit. I'm gonna to try to re-enter the software and see if it asks me to uh, automatically update. If not, 
we're install the new software by hand. Okay, so see? So once I open this, after the firmware update, it asks me, hey, there's a new software out, do you want to download? I'm gonna go ahead and download. But if you do have the old software installed uh, and you haven't updated your firmware, you're still on 1.0 slash something, do not update this. You want to stay on 1.3.3 in order to update the firmware before you update the software. Now we can update the software because our firmware has been updated. And uh, I'm not gonna go to the website to download because I already downloaded the software over here uh, at the very beginning. This is the old firmware software that I installed. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because we don't need it anymore. And this is 1.4.1. I'm gonna go ahead Install this and it says it's already installed. Do you want to continue? Yeah, we're gonna replace the old software and I believe now the software should work normally, okay? And it would actually instantly connect. So it's finished pretty quick. Um, again, let's open up the Ampero again. And now it's 1.4.1. There's not gonna be any error message. It's gonna connect and it's gonna give me all the options to fully customize, right? Right here. So if you do have the Ampero Mini, or if you do record on your PC, this is a great software, very responsive compared to some of the boss offerings that I've had before. Um, and uh, also the new X that I tried, um, it was okay. A firmware update is a little confusing and tricky, but if you actually understand the process, it's very easy. So now it's ready to go, and uh, that concludes the firmware update. Um, so to recap, if you are on the old 1.0 firmware, you need to install the Ampero Editor 1.3.3 first, and then go to the firmware update to manually update the firmware to 1.1. After that, you exit the Ampero Editor app, re-enter it, it will ask you if you want to update to the newest 1.4.1. By then you hit yes. Once both firmware and software are updated, you are able to use the uh, MultiFX processor with your software on the PC as well. And uh, remember, before every before everything, install the default A newest AISO driver uh, in order to be able to connect your USB um, connect the MultiFX processor through USB to your PC or Mac. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. I should have more guitar-related videos coming out for you guys. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.